morning everyone um, I'm going to put my face on surprise and I'm going to share with you some bits that you've probably already seen in a new product introduction kind of thing and I just thought I would use some of them today um, right, Art Deco I mentioned Art Deco I was sent their new launch you can buy it from Beauty Bay which is a site I love to use because they're so reliable the delivery is immensely quick and they're one of those places where if you can't find the product anywhere else if they stock it you'll generally get it there so I've got the skin perfector I have the luminous skin stick I have the primer I've got this amazing um, multi stick for face and lips which does a bit of everything and we're going to try this lip product that sort of transforms onto your lips so you have a unique colour so a few bits and then I'll probably have some old favourites that you've seen before right let's go in with I've moisturised everything I've just filmed a daytime morning skincare video so my skin's done instant skin perfector which I have used it looks very similar to the um origins ginseng um consistency because it's white but it has little flecks in and it actually transforms itself to the color of your skin but if I put it on you can you can see there oh and it smells so so good I love love the smell of this oh it does it smells so good and it just adapts to your skin tone um it's really really good it really is a great product and it's funny how you sort of miss a lot of makeup brands because you're looking at the ones that you know uh, one or two people got in touch when i featured it and said oh yes i love art deco and to be fair i hadn't heard of it either it arrived it's a pr um products and it's just I really love what I have practiced with I've used this already in my makeup routine before and I love it it just it's very subtle so if you do want a real subtle sort of primer but it just evens the skin out as you can see gives a very nice glow to the skin without it being greasy and shiny but it's beautiful and just gives you enough sort of tone without it looking odd I really like that really like that so that's the instant skin perfector and they call it a natural finish beauty balm now you can apply makeup straight away or you can press it into the skin and give it a few minutes to work into the skin it works whatever so what am i going to put on base wise um let's have a bit of elf foundation serum um this is the darkest they do i believe which is medium dark and it's an SPF of 25. I don't know how dark this is going to be. I love e.l.f. I don't use it. Oh no, that's okay. I hadn't realised how dark my skin tone had become until I was putting some makeup on the other day and it's really caught. It doesn't look it, but tone-wise, but that's, oh gosh, that's, how about that? That is absolutely, there you go, doesn't happen often, that's an exact skin tone match. You very, very rarely get a moment like that, the sudden stunned look on my face. But I love e.l.f. and they sell it in my local Superdrug now. So, yes, that's brilliant. I'm very happy. I don't even need to mix anything in. Normally, I'm adding a little bit of Glossier skin tint as you know and this is just an anti brush just an anti brush angled airbrush the only thing is i do find that they shed little little bits come out which is a shame but other than that they are great brushes oh that's lovely i mean that skin perfectory is so nice you don't necessarily have to put a base over the top and you might be able to see it just it's almost like your foundation adheres to that perfecter and it really does give a really smooth surface not mattified but you don't get a sheen as much now i do like a sheen but i don't mind that i have to say oh that's fab 
I haven't used that foundation in ages and I was sorting through a lot of my products yesterday and thought I must get that out again. I've got the lighter one, foundation serum. Yeah, there you go, medium dark, broad spectrum SPF 25. And I get mine from Superdrug. Right, oh. Who's texting me? How rude. Sorry about that. It's my godson. He's 17 and he has all these questions and chats and observations. Right, a little bit of the RMS. Um, I'm trying to think the exact name. Uncover Up Concealer. I have shade 22 which currently actually it is perfect because you don't want your concealer to be too dark might be a, a shade on camera it looks exceptionally light here in my mirror it doesn't look too bad but oh gosh it just goes over this foundation everything beautifully and i'm going to use a what am i going to use let's use a contour brush from Real Techniques, I'm just going to push that into the skin. The chances are I will actually be removing this makeup because it's so warm today. I just, I don't know, the older I get, the more annoyed I get when I've got a face full of makeup. I just like my skin to be free, so I may, I may remove it all. That's lovely. They work so well together, but that skin perfecting base it just makes everything so what's the word velvety velvety yeah it's velvety so rms if you like glossier but you find it too slippy this is kind of a step up i'm really loving this so i'm going to put some of the primer on and this is the all-in-one eye primer um and it does dry out quite easily as a lot do so make sure you do put the lid on tightly i don't know if there's a particular shade this has a one on it so there may be different shades but do do check that's a nice consistency though that's very nice it also sort of lifts and evens out the eye color above the eye as well i'm just using my fingers very creamy but i like the fact that it sort of dries down it's not powdery again it's a velvet finish but it feels nice but it's a nice thing to use sometimes if you're using creams and it doesn't bother me when creams sort of crease I quite like that grungy look but I know a lot of people people don't so yeah I like that it's not too obvious natural finish so I think that's a shade one in the Art Deco all-in-one eye primer right I have this um the multi stick which is for face and lips they come in different shades. I've got rose toffee and you can use them just anywhere. Um, when I've tried this before, it looks quite caramel, um, but on me it goes the rose tone. So I'm going to use it as a blusher rather than a bronzer, um, but I'm not going to put a bronzer on. I'm just going to use that. So I'm going to use this on my eyes, on my cheeks. I'm not going to use it on the lips because I have something else to use on my lips, but let's just rub that on. To there and it has the most lovely pink tone and I love that it looks so different as a colour on my eyes to how it does on my cheeks but it does have such a and remember using the primer will also make the colour look a little bit starker as well but I love this against a warm skin, this lovely sort of pinky warm tone. Really simple. Let's get a bit on the cheeks. So you could blend away using your fingers or I'm just going to use this contour brush again. And just take the colour further along. But you can see the eye colour looks completely different even though it's the same product. And if you wanted a pinker looking bronzer, I'm just going to put a bit of it in my hairline. There's no reason why you, you don't have to have an orange tone. That's just very rosy and natural. And what a great product. There's just, you can use it anywhere. Brilliant. 
Right, I'm going to use some of the Luminous um, Skin Stick. I'm just going to put that here. And again, almost like a C shape. And just blend it out. All the products just blend so beautifully together. They sit seamlessly over each other. And this is such a creamy application. It's beautiful. It doesn't have any sort of glitter. It just has that subtle sheen. That's why I like it. And it's so easy to use. I'm not using any brow products today because it is just a very subtle summery pinky makeup and I don't bother that much with my brows when I'm just doing a real sort of natural soft look and just a little over the cupid's bow really good product I think it's one of my favorites right now then um, what am I going to do? Mascara would be good, wouldn't it? Miss your big Lancome. You can get waterproof in this. Right, I have the Art Deco lip product which you put on and it moves, transforms, regenerates to your lip colour. So it looks like this. So let's see. Now, I don't know if you can see, I can see it looking a little pinker. So there is a little bit, it's toning down the sort of purple and blue undertone of my lips and actually going a little pinker. Oh, I quite like that. That's nice. Doesn't feel too sticky. Moisturising. Hmm. Yes. I like that. That's working for me. So, that's it. That's basically my makeup today. Yeah. I'm pretty impressed with just about everything I've used. That's, that's great. Um, love the fact that the e.l.f. foundation was literally the perfect match, um, which rarely happens, as you know, so brilliant. Mm -hmm. My favourite products, I think, definitely the Skin Perfector, because it just makes your skin like velvet. I really like the idea of the multi-stick just because it's so easy that you can see I've got my eyes done, I've got my cheeks done but they don't look the same colour and I could put it on my lips and I think that's genius. Like the eye primer, again that feels lovely. The luminous skin stick I like because there you get the sheen but you don't get that glittery glow and I must say the lip product which I was a bit mm, dubious about yeah, I quite like that. That's nice. And my skin just looks and feels very natural, just very summery, very pinky. That's all. There we go, folks. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed looking at some new bits and some old bits. I'll put all the links where you can find out Deco and the other things I've used. And I will be back with another video very soon. Until then, bye for now.